you know, right now it's the biggest choking point in getting more EVs onto the road. It's just there's a bottleneck. That's where the bottleneck is. Talking lithium here with Rover Metals and Judson. We've seen a bounce back in lithium spot prices. So what's your take? What's in store for us for the rest of 2023? Well, the world's largest lithium miner in North America, Apple Marley. They're using $20,000 USD uh, as a long-term forecast price. And, you know, any big corporation, they'll use a conservative number because they always like to beat analyst expectations on their quarterly earnings reports. So I think where it's at right now, back up to 32,000 is, is a great stable price. And, you know, I think it's not just short term, but um, what's long term as well. And so, you know, we already had first quarter, even with lithium coming down a bit, really good profitability in our sector, you know, again, Companies like Rover plan to produce a ton of lithium at, you know, roughly US $3,500 a ton. So, you know, 20,000, 32,000 per ton lithium carbonate is a very profitable business for us. So real quick follow up question on that, Judson. Is the recent dip we've seen in lithium prices a classic buy the dip opportunity or how should an investor look at this um, at the cycle? Well, I think it's the reality is, is it's just you know right now it's the biggest choking point in getting more evs onto the road it's just there's a bottleneck that's where the bottleneck is and i think um it's only going to continue to to grow on really the demand side for if you're looking at the vehicles we're expecting to see here in north america where chevy which is you know arguably the most popular truck we have in north america you know, in September, they released their um, Silverado, which is one of their leading brands. So um, a friend of mine, you know, my our marketing team actually here at Rover Metals just bought the Rivian pickup truck and that's going to be delivered in four weeks. So, you know, that's backed by Bezo. So, I mean, the demand's just going to surge this year. And, you know, I think that continues to grow past, uh, you know, 2023, well into 2030, right?